guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fasa Kajin Cosplay and today we're back again guys with Demon Slayer episode 25 we're almost done with the first season, guys. Yes. I think they introduced the movie last episode, so... I think they did. Uh, and I know this movie is very popular. <laughs> I know it, it, it made top, you know, it made for first place, top one. I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I can't speak English suddenly. <laughs> we heard about it a lot. It's number one on the charts everywhere, on the charts. It's, on, it's number one in Japan, and I think it was, you know, in a lot of theaters here in America too so I'm very very excited for that movie and we will watch it after next episode mm -hmm. so yeah look forward to that uh, last episode was about training it was about recovery rehabilitation training yes it was about Shinobu's past and why she keeps smiling all the time very tragic very sad we understand her a lot more now and uh, we'll, we'll look at her smile differently so yeah uh, Zenitsu really um, he brought it last episode for a little bit. He uh, <laughs> shook Inosuke out of his depression for, for a sec and uh, he motivated the troops. But then he, he it happened for a sec and then he went back to being good old Zenitsu. Yeah. And Inosuke yeah. went back to being depressed. And Aww. But Tanjiro is pushing through, learning a new way to become stronger, you know, keep his breathing technique up for the whole day. Which is he's usually not able to, to do like for, for, for one technique. Like it, it takes a lot out of him for one technique. So for a whole day, it's a lot. But he's go he's getting there and hopefully he can teach the boys the same technique later. So that's cool. Yeah. Nice. And that's pretty much what happened last episode. Not much happened last episode, so yeah. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what maybe more more yeah, more training and hopefully he can blow that jar. Make Ex it explode. Explode that jar, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and move on to the next step of his training. So I'll look forward to that. All right. <laughs> so let's jump in this episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more, you know, of this. And yes. to keep, you know, an eye on what we put on YouTube. And yeah, let's go. Let's watch it, guys. It makes me excited for the movie. Uh, and next episode, so <laughs> and well, I know they're gonna go. I next think, episode is gonna be the finale, so yes. yeah. And I know they're going to be in the movie with uh, Rengoku. That's his name. Yeah, Rengoku. So mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna go join him. Uh, I did not know fire and flame were two different things, but it looks like it. So fire breathing is not a thing. We've never seen someone do fire breathing. Hmm. Or at least we don't know anyone that does fire breathing. Interesting. So does Tanjiro have some sort of breathing style that's like rare as fuck? Or maybe it's extinct, maybe? Or they did say when he did his breathing style, you know, following what his dad did, they did say it was something in his family. So maybe they have like a breathing style linked to his family. Something that's been taught, you know, from father to son and stuff like that. So how is he going to learn the other, the other breathing style of that Instinct. category, you know? Instinct. He did it, you know, through sheer, you know, recollection of what his dad did. So basically m remembering the dance his dad used to do will teach him, you know, the moves. Maybe if we're lucky, we're gonna find some books about it. Maybe. If it's a thing, there's there's gotta be someone out there who knows about it. So yeah, we'll look forward to this. But uh, yeah, the the difference between Shinobun before and Shinobun now is like, it's a different person altogether. It's like she, is she turned into a, her sister. She said to herself last episode that she tried to, you know, keep the smile her sister always had on, you know, she kept, she tried to keep that mask on all the time. I see it. I, I, I definitely do. I can't understand why she's doing it, but in the same time, she, it's like she's... Uh, no, she's mature too. Like, yeah, she, she's mature a lot since her, the death of her sister. But by trying to... By putting that fake smile on her face and trying to act like her sister, it's like she's erasing her true personality, you know? She may... Well, yeah. I don't know if she, it's ever gonna matter eventually because I don't think she's ever gonna go back to being who she used to be like it's like you you suffer losses in your life or you go through stuff and it changes you well this changed her so now this is the shinobu that we have after she lost her sister it's just it goes to show that before her sister died she was completely different and then after she matured and she grew beyond her years and she took on a, a weight on her shoulders that she can never get rid of <clears throat> 
it is sad, but I don't think it's something that you can change. Mm -hmm. It's something that she's she's decided to do for herself, and it's also her past experiences that affected her. So to me, it's just. It makes the whole thing very sad. So I look at her before and I'm like, gosh, where's that energy now? <laughs> you know, where's that? She looked younger, a lot younger. And I know she was because, uh, what's her name? Kano. Kano. Kano was like, she, she was a kid. She was a child. And, yeah. Well, she's still a child, but at least she, she's a, a teenager now. So, I mean, a few years passed between then and now. So, and you don't, I don't think you can change that much in that short a time. So it's just, it's tragic. Like I said last episode, it makes me appreciate uh, Shinobu's character even more because, not because I like when, when characters suffer in shows, <laughs> but it makes, it gives them a lot of layers and it, it, it makes them much more interesting. So, yeah, yeah. I knew like, I'm going to jump from subject to subject here, <laughs> but uh, uh, Kanao's backstory also very tragic. I think this show loves to, to give, you know, sad backstories to everyone. So you got it. You said that you think that thought that we uh, heard spoke before, but I don't think we have. She did when she uh, tried to get Nezuko in the forest. Really? She was saying like, "Are are you named Nezuko? Are you Nezuko?" You know, she she was asking questions and stuff. So she did speak in the forest, uh, but it makes sense that like she's. I think she's healed some somewhat. You know, since she she got taking on their, the, the sister's wing. But same, like I said with Shinobu, you know, a, a huge change cannot happen that quickly. You know, she, she basically went through so much pain and she said it herself, like everything she was feeling was bad emotions, bad feelings. So everything that, that she went through broke her. And she, I think she took all her, her, her emotions, all her thoughts, all her, what made her a person, she took it all and she buried it deep, deep down in her subconscious. And she did, she did not want to bring that up again because bringing that up means hurting. Well, it is something that the brain does to protect yourself when you're yeah, you suffering emotionally and physically, you just totally shut down. You disconnect completely. You know? And uh, she would, I mean, it's a good thing that the sisters took her, you know, took her in and tried to show her kindness and try to bring her back to the surface. But there's only so much that they can do. And it's got to come from her. So the, I think the thing with the, 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 the coin. coin was amazing because she would feel like, she, it's like she doesn't really know how to interact with people because she put all those emotions away. She doesn't know how to socially interact with with anyone. So in a social situation where she doesn't have to fight or follow the rules or do as she's always done in that household, she doesn't know how to react or interact with people. So she uses the coin to, you know, set her on a path. Um, I think it helped. I think she might want, like, I feel like she used the coin in this episode to see if she, she could join in or not. And then it told her not to. And I, I feel like she felt disappointed so maybe we will see her go from this using the coin and, you know, following what the coin says to not following the coin, you know, making a move on her own and not, you know, asking herself questions all the time about if it's okay, okay for her to interact, if, it, if she should or should not do something. And she would allow herself to make those decisions, to make those decisions and bring back all of those emotions because you, you make those decisions based on your emotions. So she needs, she needs to bring that back and allow herself to live. So hopefully we get to see her do uh, some, uh, some, some, I don't know, some progress. Progress, yeah. Some when character it comes to development. This. Yeah, I, I would like to see it uh, because it's really sad what happened to her. And I feel like she wants to join in, but we're not there yet. So well, if you think about it, like uh, Shinobu said, when she was younger, uh, she, I'm pretty that. From the day she was born, she didn't have any say at all to what she was supposed to do, how to just live. People just threw her away in the trash outside. People kept her like a, a slave, basically. She was sold by her parents. She was sold by her parents. She was dragged on by rope. And afterwards, she, just, she was just waiting and expecting people to just tell her how to exist well it's, it's one thing you you see sometimes with people who have to follow rules all their all their life and then suddenly they end up with so much freedom freedom that 
us, you know, we would probably see as, well, it's normal. Like, it's... Some people would say that we're not that free, but then for someone who's always well, been following orders and stuff, to suddenly have all that freedom, it's overwhelming. So you don't know what to do with it. Well, you know what? It, rem it, rem it reminds me of when we uh, went camping last summer <laughs> with one of our friends. You know, we used to say that, oh, when we were younger, we always knew what to do. Like, we play volleyball, we just go in the swimming pool, but now that we're adults, we're just, what do we do to relax? <laughs> But we, we didn't ah, know how to yeah. act, Gosh, so you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, well, yes, it's, it's similar to that. In this case, that. you can think that it's a little bit similar to that. Yeah. Well, it, yes, it's true. When you're a kid, like, it's one example of, you know, fi finding yourself with so much freedom, but that you don't really know what to do with it. Uh, when you become an adult, you suddenly have so much stuff that you need to do. And you you always you have your responsibilities and you have to work and you have to clean and you have to cook and stuff like that. And suddenly when you find yourself in a situation where you can just relax, some people will be asking themselves, how can I relax? <laughs> what do I do? So yeah, it's similar. I think this is what happened to her. And I think that's why the coin helped a lot because she just didn't know if it was fine, if she could do some stuff. So using the coin helps her, you know, make these decisions. So, and I, I think that she got... Kind of like Zenitsu and Inosuke, she got affected by Tanjiro's motivation and his, you know, his Every, drive. Everybody will be motivated. Yeah. Motivated by Tanjiro. How many times did you, have you seen someone who's so uh, supportive and uh, in your training or in something, and you say, "Well, it helps." Gosh, I want to be like that person someday. It helps. It, like, I mean, that's why some people say, you know, go to the gym with with a friend because when you go alone. You only have yourself to push yourself forward, you know? You, you If you don't have enough motivation on your own, you won't go far. But for some people, having a friend over, uh, you know, f to for them to train with, will push them. Because if they cannot go further, they'll look at their friend who's going further and they'll want to catch up. Kind of like what Zenitsu and Inosuke are doing. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's true having someone around to set the example and to, you know drive himself so that and, and to drive you too through that drive helps a lot uh so i'm glad that it's working on zenitsu and inosuke i'm really glad because that's what we needed from them they needed to go <laughs> like that's that's that was the next step for them they and, needed to have a little push you know yes and i love how shinobu also tackled the problem by you know understanding her character and using you know the right words and the right techniques with both of them to mm -hmm. push them forward and to have them do their training too True. Uh, it worked. I mean, that's what I wanted, and <laughs> and I'm glad that it's happening. And then that, now we can go back to having missions and doing the movie. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, I have a question for you because from what we saw with both the uh, sword maker, sword master, I was I don't know the term sword builder. Okay. Uh, both of them were pissed when Tanjiro and Inosuke well, did it, didn't did it respect. The art, yeah, it's, their, it's what they created. What's your opinion what, about that? What did you expect? <laughs> They're very passionate. They're a bit too much, but that's what I expect from an artist. An artiste, mm. you know, someone who puts sweat and blood and tears into a project, and then you give that project over to someone, and that person doesn't respect it. It's like it's like if we spent you know an entire summer working on a cosplay for one of our friends, and once we give them the costume, they decide to. Uh, you know, take away some stuff, open some seams, and change stuff around, and you'd be like, fuck you! Well, you could say that about the wigs. You, well, if you think yes, about actually, it. Yes, actually, I've, I've felt that with the wigs before, because I'm the one who style, I'm, I'm the one who style all the wigs when we cosplay, and uh, I've seen my friends, you know, put wig on, well, especially, uh, well, Looks basically. <laughs> I did an Elsa wig for her, and on me it looked fine. And then I, I, she put it on her head, and she wasn't, she wasn't a happy that the braid could not go in front of her, uh, like in the movie. So she basically undid the braid that I spent hours doing because it needed to be perfect with the spikes and everything. She undid the whole thing, and then she, she made it looser. And it destroyed the spikes. And after, it, I mean, we we spent what one hour in the car in the car to go to the to the convention. It took that one hour, and then the wig was done. Like the braid was on was undone, and the spikes were all gone, and we could see her hair under it. And I was like, this is supposed to be my work, <laughs> and it looks like shit. 
Same with my, my other friend who basically I cannot ever give him a spiked wig because it will never hold up because he keeps, you know, going under it and moving it around and I hate this. So yeah, I know what it feels like. <laughs> Oh, and I don't put as much time and work into wigs uh, like they do with their swords, so I can only imagine. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was a good episode. Uh, next one is the finale and then the movie. I'm excited. So I'm guessing then that since the movie is canon, next episode is going to introduce the movie. Set I the guess scene. so, because we just saw a glimpse of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the train is the it, movie. It looks 3D to, it looks, uh, 3D to me. Well, but, <laughs> yeah. No, but I think the train is, you know, important for the movie. I think the name is Mugen Train or something like that. I don't know, like, I could be completely wrong, but I think it has to do with the movie. So I think we're going to set this up, set the scene, and find a way for them to join in with Rengoku. So, yeah, I'm excited. And maybe learn more about flame and or fire everything yeah, what's the difference who knows i want to see so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us if you want to see the finale right away it is on patreon already or it will be very soon check it out if you want the link is in the description below and if you don't that's okay you can wait for the next one to be out on youtube which will be next week guys yes. so see you then bye